Hi friends, this is Mohammed Gibran and welcome to our tutorial series for C Sharp and Microsoft Visual Studios. In the previous video, uh, we were creating the uh, calculator and we faced a problem that uh, only one digit was shown in our text box. So to fix that, we will go and make some changes in our uh, uh, code. So the problem actually what we are having is whenever clicking uh, this button is getting clicked by the user we are assigning that value to this text box okay what uh, we are saying is whenever user clicks the button number one in the text box the text of the te uh, text box should be one so this is what we are making as mistake again what we are saying over here is whenever the user clicks the button number two make the text of that uh, text box as two we need to maintain the text already entered in the text box and then we need to write one or two after that so for that we can write instead of convert directly convert to string we can write uh, it's underscore text box dot text plus one okay so now what I am doing over here is I am making the text of the text box equal to the text of the text box that is already existing in the text box plus one so it means that suppose if I pressed one in the text box so one will be there and uh, if another word uh, next time this button one is clicked so it will be one plus one means the text box will have one and one so let me show you what I mean by that uh, before that let me just uh, write the same thing over here underscore text box dot text plus two okay now let me run this stuff again and uh, your application is ready now if I press one fine if I press two it's twelve one two one two 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 one 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 okay now you see you have the text already the text box and then after that you are adding the uh, digit after that now if I press 2 it says 2 if I press 1 1 so the text is maintained in the text box we are not uh, removing the previous text okay so now this is one way to achieve it and the another way to do it is to just remove it and uh, just add one plus sign over here it means we are assigning this uh, value to this means as same as what we wrote previously but uh, you know it reduces your code so we are uh, again adding that stuff let me remove it fine now if I run it now you will see the same work has been performed by the code okay you can see that uh, if I press the other buttons nothing happens because we have not written any code for it okay so this is how your uh, calculator basically will start working okay I will write this code for all of the button uh, till then I will pause this video okay so I have uh, added the code for uh, all the buttons the 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and uh, now if I run my calculator uh, get it over here I can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 0 okay so oops, 9 and uh, so now we are able to get all the uh, digits or all the numbers in the text box so now what we need to do is just to add the operation that can be performed on this numbers okay so for that uh, we will uh, create one uh, variable let me say string and it's the variable name will be option so I'm creating a uh, variable string whose name is option and uh, <coughs> uh, we're gonna need some more um, variables of uh, integer type let me say num1 and num2 okay so these are the two numbers which we'll be requiring uh, then what we will do is we will go and uh, click this our uh, addition button and when this button clicks I will assign let me say num1 equals convert dot 
to int the values typed in the text box dot text okay so what I did over here is as you all know I have taken oops sorry it's uh, not u in 32 it's just in 32 okay so whatever whenever the user clicks this addition button and uh, for sorry whenever the user enters some uh, digits or a number in this text box and uh, clicks this plus button or the addition button I will assign that existing text or the numbers in the text box to my variable num1 okay and then I will assign the variable option the value add okay now uh, this option will play a very important role in our program uh, later on you will see what's the reason to create this uh, variable okay so this is what we did and uh, then we will do the same thing for uh, our uh, all the remaining button uh, let me copy it and uh, when the user clicks this subtraction button we will do the same thing but in this uh, here I will say option will equals to subtract okay and then when the user clicks multiplication I will do this same thing and then here the option will equals mul okay then we'll go and do it for uh, division and uh, we'll type it again and I will say option equals division okay so now this is the uh, all the code which we need and uh, in the next video we'll be writing the la last code for our equals button which will show us the result okay so till then thanks for watching the video and hope you liked it